three, two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in again. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and like, subscribe, and do not forget to comment down below. And also turn on your notifications to be notified when I post next. Now today, you guys have been asking for this video. Drum roll, please. I'm giving you 10 perfumes. 10, 10, 10 that I've never talked about before. I am not gatekeeping these. I'm going to share with you and I'm also gonna match them to personalities. I'm going to give you top notes, heart notes, and base notes today. Take it as your perfume gifting guide for the holidays or just gift it to yourself, I mean. We're gonna look like a million bucks and smell like it too. Actually, a hundred million. That's what these scents smell to me. Let's begin the newest series on Style by Harouche, Scents by Harouche. <laughs> We're going to start off strong. If you guys never heard of Maurice Roussel, I don't know if I'm saying his name correct, it's called Uncut Gems from Frederick Mall. And my mom wears one of their scents, and this is their newest scent that I purchased. And Uncut Gem comes in the sexual bottle. It is on the pricier side. Now, this is not the regular nose for the brand. This is Maurice Roussel. And the top notes for this is ginger, bergamot, mandarin, nutmeg, angelic root, the heart note is, leathery accord, vetti ver, frankincense, and the base note is amber musk. I mean, this scent, you only need one spritz of this, and I promise you, you're going to smell for, and my nose is stuffy right now, um, one spritz of this, and you're going to smell for like two days from this scent. So the thing about Frederick Mall scents, I remember the first time I smelled it and I was like, Ooh! you have to let it sit. It's extremely strong. I feel like this gives me, I have many Birkins and Kelly's. I collect them for fun because I'm just that bitch. I'm powerful, I'm strong, and I got money, honey. smells like money. Uncut gems. How's that one girl say that? Strange name, but I feel like this is the new it. Like, I feel like I know my Armenian community, the moment they get their hands on the smell, they're going to fucking annihilate it. Everyone in Glendale is going to be smelling like uncut gems. I can't wait for the day. <laughs> oh, back to regular programming. The next one, as you guys can see, I have used the living crap out of this one. Um, I recently purchased my second bottle of this, and this scent is called Erin Tuberose. So now this is a staple for me. Uncut Gems was brand new. It just caught my attention, which a lot of scents do not catch my attention the way that one did. But this one, I feel like... I don't know, like super fresh, but sexy and mature at the same time. I'm not a young girl, but I'm girly. I'm in my feminine energy, but don't fuck with me at the same time. This is what Tuberose La Soir, Le Soir. How do you say that? Soire. La Soire, yeah. Soir. A. A. Soire. Le Soire. S'il vous plaît. Oui, oui. What on the <laughs> Aaron Tupro. So I want to give you guys the notes. Top, bergamot, bergamot, mandarin, heart, tuberose, lang lang, base, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. This is a very interesting scent. And again, it's top 10 for me currently 
and in the summer I was wearing the hell out of this fragrance. Ooh, it's so good, I like it. It smells like a very expensive bouquet of flowers, like, you know, for your bridal shower when your fiance walks in all uncomfortably with a bouquet of flowers and has to come in and like dance with you and it's super awkward, you should wear this scent during that moment. So when he comes and kisses you and he sniffs you like, that is sexy. What do you have on? And you're like, oh, Erin by Tuberose. Harouche told me to wear it. I don't know, that's like my soap opera that played in my head right now. This smell is beautiful on its own, but let me show you guys how I've been wearing it. So we are taking Erin and we are taking an oldie, but a goodie. This is the Bottega Veneta. I forget what it's called, but the bottle looks like this. Like, oh, oh, this is called Bottega Veneta by Bottega Veneta, as she just said right now. So um, this scent I used to wear years ago. And let me tell you something about this scent. If you have a sexy auntie, you know that aunt that has it all going on, like my like Morku, like I feel like my mom's sister is really hot. Like if you see her, you'll trip out. Um, I can see her wearing it. Like if you're a little bit a mature woman um, and you want to still smell sexy, the Bottega Veneta is for you, and it's affordable in like how for what it gives. It does a lot for the price that it's asking. And this has lasted me a year. So I like to layer the Erin and the Tuba Rose. Sorry, I like to layer your little, little, little. I've shot two videos today, you guys. So I like to layer the Erin and then the Bottega Veneta on top of each other. It just like, the perfect couple. I feel like certain scents are just meant to be in holy matrimony together and these two are definitely in a united front side by side in my book. And isn't it funny that equally they're at the same ending spree and both of them I repurchased. That's how much I really like these scents together. So the top is pink peppercorn, bergamot, lily of the valley, heart, Jasmine, leather, patchouli, base, oak moss. So if you notice a theme with my scents, it's because I love certain um, ingredients and it just goes really well with my skin. The next one we have Van Cleef and Arpels. And this one is, I'm not even going to try to say it, B-O-I-S-D-O-R-E. Um, I found this, <laughs> shut up. Why do you keep laughing at me? <laughs> well, this is for the girl. Um, that Baccarat Rouge had a chokehold on, um, but also kind of shady didn't like it at the same time that everyone and their mom was wearing it. I feel like this scent and another one I'm gonna show you guys is a great alternative for people that had an obsession with Baccarat Rouge as I did. Um, this smells a little powdery. but so sexy at the same time. This like nighttime sexual, like feminine yet masculine, but still feminine, like buy me shit, but like I can buy my own shit. Silk gown, nighttime, fancy dinner, most expensive restaurant, it's giving that, like, oh, so feminine, so sexy. So the notes for this is black pepper, hot stone accord, cedarwood, vanilla, and tonka bean. Oh, I need to wear 
this more often. It's so good. Oh, now we are going to go. Don't say it. Don't say it. Halton. Halton by Perfumes by Marley. Am I saying it wrong? I get abused a lot, you guys. Like, I hope you guys know how much fun I get made. Like, I get bullied is by my Haltain? team. Haltain. Because it's an E at the end, so the A is supposed okay. to be pronounced A. <laughs> my team bullies me. Help. Okay. Especially Diana. <laughs> Especially Diana. <laughs> okay. Haltain by Perfumes, the Marley. The Marley. Um, it's a cologne, but let me tell you, this is a guy magnet. I can't express it. Every time I've put this on and I mix it, you can mix this with any scent. Anytime I put it on, especially on the back of my neck, let me tell you, it's always men that's following me on like, what do you have on? What is that scent? Because like men are attracted to like what they would wear. I feel like half the time. I don't know. That's my reasoning behind it. But this specifically... Oh, this makes me horny. That's the best way to describe this. If you want to turn everybody on while like men and females, this is the scent for you. Now the top note is bergamot, lavender, clary, sage, heart notes, saffron, praline, cedarwood, and base notes, oud and elderwood. Sexual energy, sexual intercourse, this is the scent for that. Now, the Louis Vuitton Say it. Les Sables Roses. La Sable. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay, so this is Les Sables Roses. Louis Vuitton, and I had like that little thing um, printed on it, my name embroidered mm -hmm. I had it embroidered <laughs> and the fragrance notes for this is centifolia roses absolute Bulgarian rose essence oud wood ambergris black pepper and saffron now this smells like the most expensive 500 roses you've ever smelled like the most desirable bouquet in your entire life of roses point blank period like and this lasts for so long. It's giving Middle East. It's giving Middle Eastern beauty. It's giving alluring. It's giving unisex too, honestly. It's giving money. It's And it's giving like oil money, not like regular money. <sighs> like a rose garden. Again, like if roses were fl um, flowered, if roses were watered by oud, this would be the fragrance. And I'm appalled by rose scents usually because I feel like they smell like bathroom sprays. The next, Amouage. Now, this one is for the girlies that, again, liked Baccarat Rouge and everyone's wearing it. So what are you going to do? You need to find a similar scent. I don't know why Amouage captivated me because it really it's called overture um really smells like baccarat rouge again but different a little bit different it smells a little bit more citrusy and fresher than baccarat rouge so the top notes is bergamot saffron apple the heart rose cinnamon geranium Right, I think. Let me see. Geranium. 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 The base notes is incense. Leather. Incense. <laughs> leather. You did this on purpose. Why would you put it like this? <laughs> it's like adabanum. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> What's <a> adabanum? <laughs> Well, how do you see? 
asshole. <laughs> You're enjoying this a little bit too much. <laughs> it's I A B D A N U M. Okay, so this has a cinnamon scent to it. You can smell the spiciness with the cinnamon. And also, you can smell the fruitiness, but it takes me back to a reminiscence of how beautifully Baccarat Rouge melody together. It's a vibe. Now, Delina. I tried really hard to like it in the beginning. I tried and I tried because everyone was saying like, oh my God, I love it so much. So I was like, let your girl get a sniff, you know? And I just couldn't vibe. And until the exclusive came out. Now this, I sprayed on my fingers too, my freak. Yeah. Is very fresh. Very fresh, yet powdery, yet strong. So this is the female that has everyone wrapped around their finger because they're in their feminine light energy and you know they're a damsel in distress but they know what they're doing because they get everyone to do shit for them this is what that scent is for yeah you diana <laughs> that's who the scent is for i'm talking to you <laughs> so the top notes are bergamot pear lychee heart <laughs> You're fucking with me at this point. What is this handwriting? What is B U R T? Bert Oud? I've never heard of this. Not Bert Oud. I was like, I've never heard of it. Burnt Oud. And the base is amber. This is so feminine and so pretty. This is for the girlies that love pink. I mean, it's hitting on brand for your pink aesthetic. And it's the bottle is beautiful and it has a little pink crystal too. Um, I definitely think that the packaging of this was very on brand because it is very much giving like a pink lover, but a very matured pink lover, like with, you know, taste. Is she mean girl pink or is she nice girl pink? Because you got to clarify. The I pink. feel like it's borderline Ooh. mean girl and nice girl. I feel like she's not too nice. I feel like if you're really, really nice, maybe the Bottega is for you. But I feel like with this, she's still giving edge. The next one is Anisho Rehab. They're trying to make me go to rehab. I said no, no, no. I can't do the rest. I'm just gonna spray my chest at this point. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> the faces. Ugh. This is sexy. This is bergamot, lavender, tobacco, veri ver, cedar wood, musk, patchouli, vanilla. What is G U A L A C wood? Guala wood? wood? Gualic wood. Gualic wood. I'm going to Google if that's a real thing. And sandalwood. Oh, I'm already Googling it. You're behind. <laughs> okay. And sandalwood. So, like, this gives Montal. Gualic wood. Okay, she wasn't lying. Okay, so this gives Montal Intense Cafe evolved very evolved but at the same time this is for the girl that you can't fuck with number one but has a soft heart that's who the initial rehab is for so this one i've referred to a lot of people in secret it is called la orchestra bouquet encore um, it is the last one, and it's going to be sad letting this one go, because it just smells so good. Oh. Now, this scent is for the girl that couldn't stand the smell of Baccarat. 
I think that's the best way to describe it. Like, there's a lot of people that didn't like how Baccarat smelled. Yeah. It's giving, I'm all about my business. It's giving, I don't shower in my perfume, mm -hmm. but at the same, it's light, but at the same time, it has chest. I can't explain. I can't express it. It has duality in it. Like, it's powerful, but submissive. She's confident. She's confident, but for the right person, she's submissive. That's what the smell reminds me of. So the notes on this is tuberose, jasmine, timut pepper, Madagascar, vanilla, and musk. Um, that's all, folks. I hope you guys loved Scents by Harouche. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to continue the series and what number of scents I should use, or if you guys want me to dupe certain scents, let me know as well too. You know your girl's a little truffle hound. The quote of the video today is, scent is the strongest tie to memory. So I feel like I'm just not hoarding perfumes, like maybe this is like my psycho babble inside my head. I feel like I have a scent for each season, a scent for each outfit, a scent for each mood, a scent for each holiday, and it just brings me so much joy. And I hope scents bring you as much as joy to you and in your life as much as it brings me. Until next time, love you guys dearly.